Oh God, have you ever run an ultramarathon? Have you ever watched someone run an ultramarathon? Well, consider this your lucky day because what I'm going to do today is take you with me on my first ever ultramarathon so you can witness the highs, the lows, the laughter, the dark times, how I get through it, and probably more importantly, if I get through it. I hope you're ready for this because I'm not sure that I am. Oh God, right, we're in the car, ready to go. We have an hour's drive ahead of us, a coffee to get. How's everyone feeling? Oh, this is John by the way. He's one of my closest mates, a top level amateur ultra runner, one of my main sources of inspiration, and he's driven down from Scotland to run this with me and be part of the experience. Basically, he's a legend. Buzzing. Mary? Yeah, all good, looking forward to that coffee. Thank you very much. Thank you. Normal latte, thank you. So this is possibly one of the most important elements of race prep for me. Get a good coffee down, get that hit of caffeine. So we are one minute from starting, race briefing done, feeling, yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you how I'm feeling when we're on the course. Come on. Meters into the race, how are you I'm feeling? Done. Goose is cooked, mate. <laughs> I'll just stop. Call it a day. You made it to the start line. For some people, that's enough. <laughs> yeah, tell me. Right, we're about 10k in. How are you feeling, Johnny? Fantastic. John's feeling easy. He's dragging me along. I'm feeling all right. We've gone out pretty, pretty good, good pace. Feeling all right, but we haven't done anything major in terms of climbing yet. But it's lovely weather. I think I've overdressed. As you suggested, I would. We're about 4K from checkpoint one, I think. Let's get the touch in. We've just done climb and now we've got probably uh reckon 13k to the next aid station and um it shouldn't be too taxing there's a couple of little bits of up but i'm feeling quite i'm feeling surprisingly good at the moment i'm hoping it's not just adrenaline because we're 17k in right 20k in Race report, feeling pretty good actually. Mentally fine, physically, legs feel all right. I'm trying to fuel as much as I can. Um, you know, we've got quite a nice rhythm going on, haven't we? Um, and yeah, the mental battle is for later, I think. Feeling good at the moment. See you at the aid station. Um, the legs are feeling more heavy. Um, I'm not really aching. I'm feeling quite well. My my right, what would you call it, at the top of the ankle, the right ankle is, is sore. But the most great thing is I've lost John. He's been fighting a virus for weeks, and he just couldn't. It's just it got on top of him. He had nothing in the tank. Had to uh, leave him at the last checkpoint. I'm absolutely gutted for him. Um, so I hope he's all right. So. I'm walking up this hill. This is Box Hill. And I'll tell you what, my heart rate is nearly max walking up it. 
is so steep. No point running up this. Jesus Crips, that's 36K. The pain in the calves, it burns. I'm missing my running, buddy. Missing him big time. If you ever do this race, just be prepped for Box Hill. It is brutal. 40K, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm in absolute bits. My left hamstring and left knee, every step is in agony. Sorry about swearing, I'll bleep that up. But it is absolute agony. Right ankle hurts. I just got nothing. I'm just, I'm gonna be able to crawl to the finish, but I've got another 15K, I think. Yeah, it's just brutal. Yes, Ben. Right, get yourself dipped in there, mate, and then get in mean, here the bag. I don't know what I did here. So, what, how many more to the check, next checkpoint? We're 0.7 miles. Give it. Give it. Give it. Oh my god, I'm 45k in. This is the last big hill. I cannot overstate how devastatingly painful this is. It is every bit of me feels like it's cramping up. Oh god. Jesus Christ. I'm not at the top yet. Oh. Who signs up for these stupid things? Dick. Ah. My back. I'm trying to keep my core engaged. I'm keeping my back straight, but it's just so painful. Not long. When I get to the top of this, it's pretty much all flat or downhill. <laughs> So close now. I don't even have the power to lift the GoPro to my hat. Oh, oh. At the top of the hill, I could lift the GoPro to there and film. And then after 50k, what was fascinating to me was in the end, it was the downhill that hurt and the uphill didn't hurt. It like switched. That that last 3K, I was doing sub four minute kilometers. So like six minute, six minute miling on the flat, oh, right. on the flat. I just I went bang, all the energy just went boom. All the pain went away. You know what that is? Euphoria. That hanger gave you. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> is it really? What did you give me? It's sort of like a double caffeine done in a painkiller. That's what it was. That's what that is. Suddenly I was like, whoa, I'm flying, sub four. They're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. Can you tell us what it means? Everything. Okay. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Should we get home and have a debrief? <laughs> Let's recap. I've just run 53 kilometers. It wasn't pleasant, it was painful. I think uh, the endorphins are making it feel very pleasant right now, actually, if I'm honest. It hurt a lot, you know, there's no getting around that and don't get into an ultra if you think you even the amount of training that you do is gonna take away the pain. Would it be fair to say, John, that it hurts regardless of how much you train? Yeah, as John said to me before the race, and I think I took that on board and, and luckily it really helped me is, once you get to this level of pain, it doesn't get worse, it's just there. But I'm making it sound worse than it is because actually it was a really genuinely enjoyable experience. I can't say definitely that I will do another one yet. I probably need at least a day, but I would say it's likely. I have to say thank you to John and Mary for being excellent teammates and support crew and everything that you need when you're on Ultra because there was a couple of feed stations that you'll probably, you've probably seen that when I got to, I was in bits. I didn't know what I was doing, I didn't know where I was. Where I was, they just, they sorted me out. So if you're thinking about doing an ultra, genuinely go out there and do it. Push yourself to your limit because you don't know what you're capable of until you do. I surprised myself today. I was, I'm really chuffed with the time and I'm really chuffed with everything that happened during the day and actually just, just a feeling of completing something so massive. I hope that this video gave you some kind of value. I, I hope it inspired you to do something big and if not, I hope it helped you understand what a body goes through when you do something this big. Uh, I hope it hasn't put you off. I'll see you next week. <laughs>